Mediation versus moderation. It's easy to confuse the two. They sound similar, and while they both look at how a third variable fits into a relationship, they are not the same. So let's break it all down. In this video, we will highlight some key characteristics of mediation and moderation. We'll also talk about some of the key differences between the analysis. So mediation analysis is an extension of multiple regression. We start to think about mediation when we want to explain why or how X affects Y. This tells us more information about how or why an independent variable affects a dependent variable. The relationship between X and Y is the total effect. A mediator is a way in which an independent variable impacts a dependent variable. It's part of the causal pathway of an effect. So, as you can see from the diagram, independent variable has a direct relationship with the dependent variable, but it also has a relationship with the mediator and that has an indirect effect on the dependent variable. So, uh, in a way, it's an independent variable, but uh, a, a mediator is caused by the independent variable. It influences the dependent variable. And when it's taken into account, the statistical correlation between the independent and dependent variables is higher than when it isn't considered. Mediation analysis is a way of statistically testing whether the variable is a mediator or, uh, or not. So we can use ANOVA test and linear regression analysis to assess that. So in full mediation, a mediator fully explains the relationship between the independent and dependent variable. Without the mediator in the model, there is no relationship. In partial mediation, there is still a statistical relationship between the independent and dependent variable, even when the mediator is taken out of a model. So the mediator only partially explains the relationship. So let's take an uh, example of mediator variables. So if we conduct a study on socioeconomic status and reading ability in children, you hypothesize that uh, parental education level is a mediator. This means that socioeconomic status affects reading ability mainly through its influence on parental education levels. Now let's look at moderation. Mediation analysis looks at interactions. In other words, we are interested in whether the effect of X on Y varies depending on another variable, which is the moderator. So the moderator um, modifies the relationship between X and Y. They affect the strength and direction of the relationship between X and Y. That means that X's effect on Y can change depending on the moderator. Moderators can take the following form. They can be categorical variables such as ethnicity, color, religion, um, health status, or it can be quantitative variables as well, such as age, weight, height, income. So these, can, these are the two major types, categorical and qu quantitative variables. Uh, in which the moderating variables can be formed. So let's take an example of moderating variables. In a survey of work experience and salary, you expect that the number of years, work, uh, uh, the number of years of work experience can predict salary, but the gender identity can moderate the relationship between work experience and stress. So this means that the relationship between years of experience and salary would differ for men, women, and people of different gender identities. So what is the difference between a mediator and moderator? You can see a mediator as an intermediate step for two variables. For example, sleep quality, which is um, an independent variable, can influence academic achievement, which is a dependent variable, but it can do through a mediating variable of alertness. So in a mediating relationship, you can draw an arrow 
from an independent to a mediator and then from a mediator to the dependent variable. In contrast, a moderator himself influences the relationship between two variables, changing the direction or strength of the relationship. For example, a person's mental health can influence the relationship between sleep quality and academic performance. For example, the relationship may be stronger for people who experience problems with their mental health than for people who do not experience these problems. So in a moderating relationships, you can draw an arrow from the moderator to the relationship like this between the independent and dependent variable. So these are the key differences between a mediator and a moderator.